let us begin with section 11 that is continuous improvement and PDCA. So, we can under, we can just talk about continuous improvement, PDCA and Kaizen in just one go. But uh, for ease of your understanding, I have divided the section in two parts. Part 1 where we would be talking about continuous improvement and then part 2 PDCA. Now, most people think that PDCA or Kaizen are something very similar. PDCA is the backbone of Kaizen. But here I would talk about exclusively about PDCA, what is it, what it is how like Deming cycle, Schuhart cycle and all that. Fine. So, coming back to part 1 that is continuous improvement, I would be touching upon the topics that is the introduction. What exactly is continuous improvement? How continuous improvement works? When to use continuous improvement? Benefits of continuous improvement? Principles of continuous improvement model? So, ideally there are 6 uh, principles. So, coming to introduction, now I have been used, I think so, since the start of the course, I have been using this word continuous improvement, fine. I talk about lean, I talk about continuous improvement, I talk about Six Sigma, I use the word continuous improvement and as in as itself, this is, uh, it is not hard to understand the meaning of the word continuous improvement or why I am using that. But let us just discuss this topic like a little further, you understand its importance, right? So, if I have to just uh, use a very simple quote used very often that is change is the only constant, you know, you keep on changing and that is the only thing which is constant, rest everything changes, fine. Or uh, to be just uh, be on a better side, if I just quote Winston Churchill who said that if you want to improve, you need to change and if you want to be perfect, you need to change often, right? So, this shows the importance of continuous improvement, right? So, if I have to give you an example to set a note for our lecture, just think about at least who practice like every day who just participate in international events and all that, uh, we all know that they just begin from very young ages, like even if you talk about tennis players, they will tell you that they started playing when they were 6 or 7, you talk uh, talk to an athlete who has just world record here, so they all will have, like 90% of them will tell you that they started at a very early age. So what exactly they are doing? <clears throat> they are practicing every day? so that they can improve, fine. So, just think of an athlete who goes to Olympics and uh, he is practicing because he has been selected and one fine day when he is practicing, he just beats his personal best. So, what do you think he is going to do? Or just think um, on a just a better note, he just, uh, just uh, touches the world record. So, what do you think he is going to do? Will he stop practicing? No, he will improve further. He will see how he can improve further. He will work like he will work on his fitness levels. He will work on his diet and obviously his training. So, this is what is continuous improvement. And similarly, same thing applies to our businesses. If you are talking about startups, if you are talking about a person who has made any kind of a software or a person who has just made some wonderful product which has been launched and, which, uh, and the customers are going gaga about it. So, what do you think they should be doing? For example, if one fine day, one fine gentleman just launches a product which is a big success. So, what do you think? He would just sit down there and relax that, okay, I have made something wonderful. No, he needs to work on it. He needs to add something here, something there and maybe just listen to what customers have to say. Maybe come up with a different version of it with more features because if he's not going to do that, somebody else will come up with different and new exciting features and easily replace him. So, I do not need to go with the story again about the market changes, market dynamics and the customer needs. You understand that very well. So, this is why we need to improve continuously. We can't stop. Even if you have done something wonderful, we need to keep on working, we need to keep on improving. Fine. So, uh, so, as a strategy, now continuous improvement is any policy or a process 
within the workplace that helps keep the focus on improving the way things are done on regular basis right so regularly you try I, if you're a process owner you are a, you are a person who have just created a startup you have just created a process you have just uh, developed a new product you have launched a new software you have launched new services so you have to work on every day to imp just improve them right so this can be achieved by a regular incremental improvements now exactly what does incremental improvements mean so incremental improvement means that you keep on just improving your process bit by bit every day right you don't wait it's more like kaizen kaizen says don't wait whatever changes are being done just implement them and this actually the people who are working on those changes are very sure that these changes are for good for the business fine so they keep on working every day making small changes and improving either their processes their products or services or larger process improvements here I can take example of lean or six sigma where we take a big project and say okay we are going to change it demav demac fine so what exactly is continuous improvement now if I have to just give you an image just think that continuous improvement is an umbrella like this fine so this is uh, please don't go on my drawing so continuous improvement is like an umbrella fine and these are the prongs of the umbrella which hold the umbrella and each of these prong is like you can say six sigma lean lean tools uh, TQM total quality management theory of constraints so like this so continuous improvement is exactly an umbrella which holds all these strategies together as I told you in my one of my previous lectures that it's not always that you have a problem you cannot always solve it with six sigma you have a problem you cannot always use lean so you have to use different strategies so all these strategies come under the umbrella of continuous improvement so moving on to the definition of continuous improvement so continuous improvement is also called continual improvement sometimes and it is the ongoing improvement of products services or processes through incremental and breakthrough improvements I have already discussed that so uh, continuous improvement or Kaizen is a method for identifying opportunities for streamlining work and reducing waste. So till now we have studied how we can do that using Six Sigma and Lean. The practice was formalized by the popularity of certain techniques like Lean, Agile, Kaizen, Six Sigma in manufacturing and business and it is now being used by thousands of companies all over the world to identify so that you can just see how you can just bring benefits to your business, save on the bottom lines, how you can get the profits many of these ideologies can be combined for excellent results for example we can combine lean and six sigma right we can use tqm we can use many many of these uh, uh, ideologies so that we can i as i've already discussed in one of the sections that it's not that every time you have a problem you can use lean or every time you have a problem you can use six sigma so you have, for various different problems there are various methodologies so which all come under the umbrella of continuous improvement so the kaizen culture built around continuous improvement affects companies in most possible way, positive ways as possible and it creates a corporate environment that is receptive to change so there they can change for better so this image is the perfect image to show how continuous improvement can lead you through success so you can just check it out